to right now. It is a chase of an ATV, Jolene, and Chopper 4 is on it. This is in Edmond right now. Mason Dunn over the scene. Mason. Well, I can tell you that this guy possibly has one handcuff on one of his hands. I believe they had him in custody at one time. He stole either this four-wheeler or another one, but has been driving all over the north side of, of the city right now as, as he's going northbound on Santa Fe. Waterloo right now, so uh, we'll let you know what happens here as he's going through the trees. He'll come out of the trees. He's approaching uh, Waterloo and Santa Fe right now. You can see two officers behind him, and he's he's moving, guys. So you can see him right there. He's doing everything he can to get away. So he's just uh, headed northbound on Santa Fe right now. Yeah, he he's doing fun. about he's doing about 70 miles an hour. Uh, this uh, is that, a first. Four wheelers go 70 miles an hour. Goodness. So, so what do you do? I'm doing, yeah. I'm doing 70, and he's and he's keeping up with me. So, I'm guessing he's doing about 70 miles an hour. And they're probably a little reluctant to do one of the move maneuvers we've seen so many times in these chases because uh, that person is going to go flying off of that four wheeler. So, they're probably figuring out exactly how they want to attack this situation. Again, this is in Edmond, and you say you're on Santa Fe. Yeah, we're on Santa Fe. We're north of. I have to come right over to the road because there's a lot of trees out here. So we're just going to follow behind. Uh, what is the what is the next right cross here? Street? As you can see. So Santa uh, we're, Fe. We're in. just passing. Uh, let me see. We're passing uh, Simmons. Okay. Simmons so, Road. So you're in Logan County now. Uh, yep. Because what? Yes. Because Waterloo is the cutoff between Oklahoma and just uh, Logan crossed over County. into Logan County. Right, and what a bizarre chase! Yep. Right up Santa Fe, police after a man on an ATV apparently has one hand handcuffed. And uh, Mason, you're saying that uh, they did have him in custody. In case you're just joining us, and he somehow got uh, onto that and took off. I believe now this may have started in Jones. Believe it or not, at this. Somehow they arrested him, I believe, got one handcuff on him. He jumped, he got away into the woods. This was around Britain, between Britain and Hefner on I-35. And then the report came out that a, a four-wheeler was stolen. Now, one of the owners of the four-wheeler was chasing him on a four-wheeler oh and lost him. And so then somebody else had spotted this uh, person. Uh, and here we are right now. And we're all the way way north into Edmond here. Uh, so we're still north on uh, on Santa Fe. Thankfully, there's not a lot I'm of traffic. I'm trying to stay <laughs> over him, but the, yeah. He's uh, he's still just uh, headed northbound on Santa Fe, but you know what? Santa Fe is going to come to an end here pretty shortly. I was getting ready to and ask you about that because uh, having driven that road before, it does end. It doesn't go all the way into like yes. Guthrie or anything. It's going to come to an end here pretty quickly, uh, within a half a mile, well, we'll uh, see I, what I believe, unless he can turn left or right here. So we're kind of the eyes uh, up above. This guy has getting a little bit of breakup right now from the signal from Chopper 4. But, of course, we're staying on this for you, let you know what happens. We want to know what happens up here uh, when he gets to the end of Santa Fe. And it looks like we do have him back. Now, let's, let's take another look. Uh, we see the end of it there. There's the end of it. Going to turn. Okay. Simpson, I believe this is Simpson. Yes. He's going west on Simpson. Okay. And that's going to help me out because now I don't have a tailwind and I can uh, probably keep up with him a little better. But besides the point, he's still... Now, do we know if Simpson runs into Portland? Well, that's 74, and that's a, that's a good question. Because uh, that is a very busy road. That's a busy highway because he's going to be coming up in a little while if he stays on this road to Highway 74, Mason. He's got a ways to go before then, but... Can you yes. count the mile sections, do you know? Uh, uh, we got some... The next road coming up is going to be Western. Yeah. Of course, he's on... He just left Santa Fe, headed uh, west towards Western. So they're kind of on a gravel road right now, as you can see. Um, 
Well, and again, if you're just joining us, this chase of this suspect on the ATV may have started in Jones with the owner of an ATV chasing this person who stole his other ATV. Then the police got involved, and now they just ran through Edmond on Santa Fe. Now they've just turned on Simpson Road. And as Jolene and I, oh, he's going to turn back north now. So um, no concern about 74 at this part. ATV's this notorious for injuries, so if he does crash, that could be... Oh, yeah. Dangerous. What are you hearing? Are you hearing anything, Mason, from the authorities on your radio? Uh, they're being kind of quiet right now, but they are just giving updates as, you know, where he's at and uh, where he's going. I can't. Of course, we'll get right up here to him. This road, this is a paved road, but it's going to, it's not, the road's not going to end, but it turns into a dirt road here yeah. in about a half a mile as we, uh, we are going north on Western. So he's right on here. Yeah. Well, he's not slowing down. That's for sure. And if this started in Jones, I don't nope. know. I don't know how many, uh, how big that gas tank is, but you would think. I was just about to ask They that. may start to run out of fuel here. Yep. Or fishtailing hitting the gravel at that rate of speed. Mm -hmm. And again, we're, we're, we caught up to this chase uh, when it was in Edmond. And it pr may have started in Jones, so it's been going for a while. Yeah, who are the, who, what police department? Is it Jones Police Department chasing? Uh, now there's three officers behind. They're white cars, so I'm not real sure. Now, we we think it was a Jones officer that uh, took this guy into custody. We're not quite sure if this actually started in Jones. But uh, right now, we are still northbound on Western. Now we have four officers following um, this forward. Getting a little, Miller's doing a good job go. of staying on this person. Again, you are you are seeing clearly here. You're seeing right. This is a four-wheeler chase. Uh, up to three officers or uh, law enforcement officials behind that four-wheeler. Uh, we are north of Edmond on a rural road. Yeah, it's uh, western in, in Logan County yeah. in west uh, on Western. Uh huh. And. Uh, those uh, police officers are not quite in the picture. It looks like they may be laying way back, John. They're they're John. laying uh, Mason, back a little bit. Me. We're 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 passing uh, Seward Road right now, northbound on Western. He's going to turn back to the east here on Seward uh, from Western. And Mason Seward is one of those roads that goes into Interstate 35. Now it is a it is a. Uh, overpass on 35 but it gets to be kind of a busy area there if he gets that far east again yeah uh he's got a ways to go before he gets to i-35 yeah. uh, from, from western but that, that doesn't mean anything he he got this far you know on a four-wheeler and he was doing about 70 uh, northbound on santa fe but right now he's on a dirt road so we have four or five officers following, and they're in squad cars, so none of the uh, explorers or anything like that. So we are still uh, eastbound on Seward from Western. Okay, now we're, we're getting some There's information a, here on this suspect, Mason, and I'll let Jolene read it yeah, to you. It says he was supposed to be in custody in a Jones patrol car, but he escaped at I-35 and Britain Road, and that is where he stole that ATV, and the owner says it had half a gas, uh, half a tank of gas, so that answers our question. I don't know how far you can go on half a tank of gas in a four-wheeler, but this has been ongoing for about 30 minutes or so, yeah, at least. Quite a while. Yeah, uh, this is it. This is a skinny road, and there is a car coming from the other way that you'll see coming to your picture here shortly. So it shouldn't be a problem for him, but uh, we'll just see what happens here. I'm not sure if it's a police car or not. Lots of trees coming up, too. Boy, there are. Yeah, he got by it okay. A surprise for that, that might driver. Have been, might have been a farmer going out to feed uh, the cattle. I don't know. That's about that time in the evening and getting close to it. But again, he's on a dirt road, half a tank, uh, going 70 for quite a ways. Going east on Seward Road, mm -hmm. north of Edmond, south of Guthrie. And again, he was in custody by a Jones police officer and jumped out and took off. And he has not stepped, yep. stopped since. 
Nope, he's got about a mile and a half to go before this road, looks like it goes around the lake. So I, I think the road continues around the lake, uh, but I see a lake coming up, a little lake coming up here in about a mile and a half. Let's see which one he takes, he's uh, just going straight. Yep, we're still eastbound on Seward. Uh, let's see what we're coming up to here, and that will be Kelly Avenue. Coming up to Kelly. Coming up to Kelly. So the next one yep. over would be like... Uh, Basically passing Kelly Avenue right now. Kelly doesn't run this far, but it would be Kelly Avenue. And so the next really big one, I guess, would be 77. Going over a bridge here. Yeah, Broadway is going to be coming up next. Right. Mm -hmm. 77's Broadway. Looks like there's, so there's an officer there. Oh, the, uh, oh, stop sticks maybe? Over the railroad track. There was somebody there. It looked like the... Oh. It looks like he tried to open his door. Maybe oh. take him out with the door, but he got around that. Oh, okay. As we're still uh, eastbound on Seward, uh, we'll be coming up. We're passing Mason, Dr Mason Road right now, as a matter of fact, okay. here. Uh, and we'll co be coming up on Broadway, uh, which is another paved road. We're now back he, on a paved road, by the way. If he gets over the highway on Seward and goes down Seward, that road is really twisty and turny for those of you folks who have been we'll see what before. He, we'll see what he does here. If he goes straight, which looks like he is, it's turned back into a dirt road, and it's going to be a rough road for the officers following. As I see another police officer coming around the lake, too, right now, so uh, maybe this will come to an end. Well, let's hope so, without anybody getting hurt here. We certainly hope so. Again, in case you're just joining us here, this uh, man on an ATV who was in custody of Jones Police, he yeah. got away from them. He's handcuffed in one hand, uh, and he jumped into an ATV and took off. That he, stole. that he uh, stole. There are several ATV. Now, did this belong to a business? We're not. Okay, there's a truck person. coming right up underneath okay. me, headed right towards him. Okay, we'll see what happens That's here. What I kind of got over here. Yeah, there's a truck blocking the road. And another officer, he's going to block the road here and uh, see what happens with this ATV. He may. Oh, oh nice. We nice. got the man down here. I got okay. him. He's in the water, and hopefully they can take him into custody here. Yep. I think he's done. Nicely done. He yeah. is completely, he's, he's completely handcuffed. handcuffed. He picked a nice mud hole. Yeah. That uh, well, that was an interesting chase and a very unique way to end it right there. He drove that entire way with both of his hands handcuffed together. He sure did. Mason, have yeah, you ever let me seen? Turn around here. Have you ever seen an ATV no, I chase? <laughs> You know, you and I talk quite a bit. We talk about what we've seen and what we haven't. But uh, that's one thing I haven't seen uh, in the years of flying here. So that's that's a first uh, for me. Luckily, uh, he didn't get hurt. Nobody else got hurt. As you can see, Edmund police here yes. are taking him into custody. And uh, hopefully he won't get away this time. Yeah, well, I, they've got a lot of folks around him. I bet he doesn't try to after that. Again, the ATV crash there as uh, the police were blocking the road or they had somebody helping them block the road and the man on the ATV wiped out in the mud hole there. And you do have to give it credit to the officers. How in the world do you stop a guy on a four-wheeler without hurting him? Oh, exactly. How do you get him to stop? And, he was and so it looks like they uh, they tried it uh, a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. didn't work, but trying to get him off to the side where he would hit muddy water there off on the side of the road and it worked the second time. As soon as he hit that, he rolled over on the four-wheeler. It doesn't look like he was hurt, but well, we definitely he's saw those handcuffs. setting up. Yes. We'll, we'll see what they do with him now. Uh, they're going to have to get him up and get him into the patrol car. And he may be complaining about some kind of injury or something because they're listening to him. But uh, his day on the run is over, thanks to some good police work and some great reporting from our Mason Dunn and Chopper 4, I believe Mark Dillard is uh, in the saddle on the camera there and did a great job keeping us up to date on all of this visually. Again, this started near Jones. Um, and then this man stole, he was in police custody or supposed to be in police custody, handcuffed, 
uh, got away, stole a four-wheeler near I-35, and then led police on a chase that uh, wound up here in Logan County, uh, just south of Guthrie and north of Edmond on Seward Road, east on Seward Road. We'll have more on this for you on the Extra Edition, and of course, tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock.